We are going global with it this season, and this is going to be a crazy one. I'm not really in an alliance. <laughs> I really have to bring it politically this season because when it comes to the vets, I'm kind of alone because Tori and Nisa are best friends, Amanda and Ashley are best friends, and I don't have a best friend, okay? So I need to make sure that I get into the game politically as soon as possible. My only goal this season is to literally just make as many friends as possible because it, it's gonna be tough. The moment we heard we were agents, we were like, this is gonna hit the fan real quick. In this game, it's so hard to trust people, especially with the group that we have this time around. We have some of the best people to ever play this game, but not only that, you have a lot of rookies, and I think that the rookies would be stupid not to team up because you have some of the savviest, most savage game players in, in this game. So I do think that because people come from Love Island or Big Brother Nigeria or other places, they're definitely gonna team up. and. As rookies, I think that they are going to band together if they're not already plotting and scheming. You have Big Brother, Survivor, there's so many different alliances and for me, I feel like because I've always worked so well with Big Brother, I'll probably end up working with them just because that's who I have history with. These people come into this game, they are the winners of their show. These are the best people from Survivor, the best people from Big Brother. These are the best from their craft. We definitely got some gamers. We've got a lot of people from Survivor, a lot of people from Big Brother. I just learned this, international Survivor, five and a half months. Prize, $50,000. Something's not adding up here, okay? What's a manual willing to do for a million if he slept outside for five and a half months for 50 grand? I don't wanna find out. At the end of the day, if I'm gonna get f***ed up, I'd rather get f***ed by a bunch of rookies than Big Brother again. The Big Brother Alliance was such a big hit last season. For for what? I have no idea. I mean, there's only there was only literally four of us from you know Big Brother, and I, it just brought so much attention to our alliance. I'm coming into the season already assuming that Big Brother is going to be together, which is really good for me because I was partnered with Josh on a season, so hopefully I have the in with Big Brother. This time around, there's not that many new Big Brother players. I mean, you have Tasha, Esther, and a few other Big Brother players from International, which is really dope. But I think pulling people into the Big Brother line doesn't necessarily work all the time. If anything, it kind of like puts a target on my back. So it's not so much of an alliance. It's just that we just are really good friends and we're gonna ride and rock for each other till the end. There's like a couple of other big brother people over here and I kind of like genuinely see them as good people. So I feel like there's an alliance already. And I'm big brother too, so like, why not? I would say this season, I was telling like Josh and Fess, let's dead this big, big brother alliance. Although we didn't come in here and be like, hey, we're the big brother alliance. Obviously we're close, but I think a lot of people, it's easy for them to put a name on our group and call us Big Brother Alliance. Nah, no, nah, we, we can't be the center of attention this season, we cannot. Big Brother Alliance is saying there's no Big Brother Alliance, there's only three of us in the house. Shut up. I know what you guys do. You just get more people on your side and you're gonna screw us over. For uh, my safety in this game, <laughs> We're gonna have to throw this Big Brother Alliance under the rug. We really are. Just not bring any more attention to it. Even though I'm cool with Josh and Fessy, I, I can't go down when they go down. I know there's a huge target on Fessy, and Guy, I love you, but not this time. <laughs> I think that there is a Big Brother Alliance, and I wanna be really careful and cautious in this game. I trust people's words, but at the same time, I believe in your actions more. So I'm gonna wait and see for myself. I hope that uh, there will be a survival alliance. I really hope so, because we all went through the same shit. I'm coming from Survivor. It was a huge amount of time spending there on an island. Comparing to this, we have a nice house. We have a badass pool, gym, we drink. It's crazy. I'm super excited to see survivors from all over the world this season. I'm definitely having that survivor connection with people, even though our games are completely different. There are a lot of survivors players, and I don't want to make a, a team of survivors. I don't believe in teams, I believe in friends. I just want to flow and let it go. I think it's an interesting dynamic because by nature, survivors are, we're rookies, but we come in with a little bit of experience from being on a reality competition show before. I have to tell you that I was so bad at strategies as Survivor, even though I went to the semifinals. I went to the semifinals only because I was good on all the challenges. I think it takes a certain amount of grit to be able to survive on an island, 
competing while you're hungry, tired, removed from all basic needs. And I think by nature, we tend to gravitate towards each other because we've been through that. I met a lot of survivor people in this house and uh, I feel like at one point it will benefit me and them to have an alliance. I've seen in the past challenges like big brother alliances, so they stick together, so we could do the same here. Yeah, I don't care the name if you come from big brother or survivor or I don't give a f I like to know the people. If I like the people, I'm gonna stay with them and talk with them. If I don't like, I'm gonna hate them.